students from Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, Washington Latin Public Charter, and Gonzaga College High School meet today on It's Academic. Hello everybody, I'm Hillary Howard and welcome to It's Academic, produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. The world is full of challenges. And at MITRE, we're committed to solving them. From aviation and health to cyber in national security people know we are called to do more. MITRE, solving problems for a safer world. And now it's time to meet the teams. First, from Jefferson High School in Fairfax County, Elliot, Timothy, Andrew, welcome to It's Academic. Really glad to see you. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Hi Hillary. Hillary. From Washington Latin Public Charter in Washington, DC, Elias, Jonah, and Ruby, great to have you here today. Hi, Hillary. Hi. And from Gonzaga College High School here in Washington, Luke, Peter, and Drew, really happy you guys are here. Hi. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Hillary. Hi. Hillary. Hi. So glad to meet you all and that you're all here for It's Academic today. And now to the opening round. In this round, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. Team one from Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, Elliot, Timothy, Andrew, first question. A pencil I added. You'll have 20 points if you find within this phrase what word for the tiny hair-like projections that line bronchial and nasal passages. Is it cilia? Yeah, it mm, might be probably. cilia. And your answer is? Cilia. Yes, it is. Very good. Iambic to igloo. You check this volume of an old encyclopedia for information about what mythical son of Daedalus, whose wax wings melted when he flew too close to the sun. Icarus. Icarus. Yeah. Icarus is right. Into Thin Soup. John Krakauer wrote a best-selling book about climbing Mount Everest, but this was not it. Please change one word to make it correct. It's air. Into thin air. air. Yeah, change soup to Into thin air is my answer. Soup to air is right. Sudan, Suriname, Senegal. Two of these countries are in Africa, but which one would you visit on a trip to South America? Suriname. Mm -hmm. sure That's your no. answer. Correct. As just and merciful as Nero. This was one clergyman's description of what 16th century English queen who had her cousin, Mary, Queen of Scots, executed. Is it Elizabeth I? I. Elizabeth I? Yeah. That's her answer. Elizabeth I is correct. TJ, you've got 200 points. Now to team two from Washington Latin Public Charter here in the district. Elias, Ruby, Jonah. Here's your first question. Hoopla, small comfort. You'll have reason for hoopla if you find within this phrase what word that identifies the fluid part of your blood. Plasma. I'm trying plasma. Yeah, plasma is right. Okay. Plasma. Yeah. It is plasma. Nice. Soup to Tunisia. It's in this volume of an old encyclopedia that you'd learn about what river of Hades across which the souls of the dead were ferried. No, we go sticks. Yeah. Stick. Yeah. Correct. Final answer. Sticks. sticks. Yeah. Awesome. Tennessee Williams wrote, tar on a hot tin roof. <laughs> I know this sentence is not right. Can you correct it by changing one word? Uh, conferring cat. Cat on a hot tin roof. Cat on a hot tin roof is correct. Awesome. Zulu, Mayan, Pashtun. Of these three ethnic or tribal groups, which one makes up much of the population of Afghanistan? Conferring uh, Pashtun. It's it's Pashtun, yeah. Yeah. Zulu is African. And yes. Mine so. Finalists are Pashtun. Good one. It is. Scandalous assemblies and unseasonable hours with these words. 18th century author Daniel Defoe looked back on his college days at what English university arrival of Oxford? Uh, do you guys know? Answer. In um. three. Two, one, the answer is? Uh, Cambridge. Pardon me? Cambridge. 
Yes, it is Cambridge. Nice and under the wire. (laughs) Washington Latin Public Charter, you've got 200 points. It's awesome. Time for Team 3 in this opening round. Gonzaga College High School. Luke, Drew, and Peter. Here's your first question. Tonic kelp seaweed. This sounds healthy, but see if you can find in this phrase what metallic element whose atomic number is 28. Uh, Conferring nickel? Yeah. All right, a final answer, nickel? Yes. Taos to ukulele. It's in this volume of an old encyclopedia that you'd find information about what Norse god of thunder who carried a short-handled hammer. Uh, Thor, conferring Thor. Yeah, Thor. Yeah, final answer, Thor. Yeah. In 1215, King Kong signs the Magna Carta. Is this right? I don't think so. Please fix it by changing one word. Uh, Conferring John. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Final answer, John. Yes. Tiber, Mekong, Spree. Germany's most important river is the Rhine, but which of these rivers flows through Berlin? Uh, so conferring, it's not Mekong. Um, um, Ty- Tiber's Rome. Yeah, so do you want to go spray? I do. That sounds yeah. right. All right, right final spray. And that is the right answer. Nautilus 90 North. This message was sent by the nuclear submarine USS Nautilus when it became the first ship to travel under what geographic point at zero degrees longitude? Um, would that be um, conferring? Would that be the um, prime meridian, Luke? Um, that's you want to go for that? That's... No, right. uh, sure. The answer right. is the North Pole. Oh, prime meridian. It's the North Pole. Gonzaga, nice job, though. 180 points. And that's the end of the opening round. Picture Perfect up next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea. It's an action a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Okay, everybody, it's time for the picture perfect round. In this round, answers are worth 20 points up or down, 10 points if you pass. First up, Jefferson High School from Fairfax County. Guys, the World War I song over there was written in tribute to American troops who entered that war in what year? 1917, maybe? Yeah, Andrew? 1917. Okay. I don't know. 1917. All right, it's 1917. A line perpendicular to the line described here would have what slope? Um, two, I guess. Yeah, two. Two is right. Nice. Nice. These ancient stone jars litter the landscape on the plain of jars in what Southeast Asian country whose capital is Vientiane? Laos. 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 That's the answer. Laos is right. And with that correct answer, TJ, you've got 260 points. Team two, you are up. Washington Latin Public Charter. Here's your first question. Poet County Cullen was a leader of the 1920s Renaissance, associated with what African-American neighborhood in New York City? Confirming Harlem. 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 All right, yeah. Finally, it's Harlem. Yes, it is. Assuming X is not zero, perform the indicated operation. Let's see. Math is not exactly my strong suit. I'm going to pass the baton to Ruby. I need an answer, please. Uh, Hello. And uh, final answer is um, seven. I'm not sure. Um, I'm glad you said seven because it is in fact seven. That was a very good deduction. Yeah. You got there. Awesome. You can see flowers like these if you visit what Central American country whose capital is San Jose. Answer. Um, yeah. Conferring. Uh, is it? I do need an answer, guys. Um, Nicaragua. No, Costa Rica, not too far away. Well done, Washington Latin Public Charter. You've got 220 points. Team three, Gonzaga, you're up. Here's the first question. 
Roses are the official flower of several U.S. states, including what Peace Garden state, whose capital is Bismarck? Um, uh, conferring North Dakota. That sounds right. Uh, yeah. All right, and uh, North Dakota. North Dakota is right. Find the minimum value of this polynomial. Uh, conferring 10. No. Wouldn't it, eight. Wouldn't it be 8 because you can yeah. have 0? Because you have 0. And your answer is? Uh, 8. 8. Good. It's 8. This flag with its unusual crested crane emblem represents what African country whose capital is Kampala? Uh, Uganda. Uganda is right. Finance Uganda. Yes, and that gives you a score of 240 points, Gonzaga. And that's it for the Picture Perfect Round. In just a minute, we will learn more about our amazing students, meet their coaches. Then we'll dive into the packet round. But first, here's something interesting. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that scientists, while trying to find a cure for baldness, once injected jellyfish genes into mouse hair follicles? The mouse did grow hair, but unfortunately it was fluorescent green. It's still got a way to go, said the team leader. You think? I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. We've reached halftime on It's Academic, which means the packet round. As you know, of course, in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points. Nothing off for a wrong answer. And if you get every answer right, there is a 25-point bonus. Team one, Thomas Jefferson High School, you are up. But before we begin the round, we'd really like to learn more about you. Let's do it. Elliot, you're the captain. We'll start with you. Tell us about yourself. Um, I really like art, and I would like to thank our alternate, Brian, and our coach, Fu, for being here today. Well, it's great to have you here, Elliot. Timothy, how about you? What do you do in and out of school? I enjoy playing Quiz Bowl, and today I'd like to thank Mr. Forche and Ms. Alinina for helping us with our club activities. Awesome. It's great to have you here, Tim. And finally, Andrew, what do you want to share about yourself? I'd like to thank our principal, Dr. Von Tadipus, and our alternate, Brian Lai. And one thing I'd like you guys to know about me is that I'm on our school's crew team, our rowing team. Cool. Awesome. That is such a fabulous sport. Now, of course, we've done the introduction, so we can do the content, the questions. Here's the first one, TJ. The first battleship to pass through the Panama Canal was a vessel named for what state? That includes the city of Green Bay. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yeah. yeah. Wisconsin, it is yeah. Wisconsin. Some endangered sea turtles have been treated for their ailments with what ancient Chinese needle therapy? Acupuncture. 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 I'm sure they're not going through the shell, right? Here's your science question. Light waves, sound waves, radio waves. Which of these waves cannot travel through a vacuum? Sound. Sound. That's her answer. Sound waves is right. The mythical atlas was first associated with a book of maps by what 16th century Flemish cartographer who created the map projection that still bears his name? Mercator, right? Yeah. Mercator. Mercator is right. Nice. Anticipating today's passion for exercise, what 17th century English poet walked three to four hours a day and still found time to write Paradise Lost? Milton. Yes. Here's your math question. If one factor of this expression is x plus 5, what is the other factor? x minus 3. Yeah, x minus 3. You are right again. A promotion to Admiral of the Navy and a two-day parade greeted what American naval officer after he won the 1898 Battle of Manila Bay? Answer? I have no clue. Is it MacArthur? MacArthur. Nah, it was Dewey, George Dewey. But TJ, great job. You've got 380 points. Let's meet team two from Washington Latin Public Charter in Washington, D.C. Elias is the captain. Hey, Elias, tell us something about yourself. I really enjoy sailing. That's beautiful. I always see those sailboats and want to do it. What do you like most about sailing? I like the ability to go anywhere you desire and to not, be, not have to rely on an engine. Yeah, that is nice. Well, it's great to have you here, Elias. Ruby, how about you? What do you like doing in and out of school? Uh, I really enjoy writing and playing all sorts of instruments outside of school. And when you write, what sort of stuff are you focusing on? Uh, right now, I'm focusing a lot on like screenwriting and stuff for the screen. Ah, very nice. Uh, Jonah, how about you? Tell us about yourself. 
Um, outside of school, I like doing choir and music programs, mostly theater and that kind of stuff. And currently I'm working for PFNCA, which is a charity based in DC. And what does it do? It helps people with uh, Parkinson's disease. It's a neurological disease. Wow, that's fabulous. Well, good for you. We need more folks giving back. All right, Washington Latin, let's do this. Here's your first question. In 1764, colonial Americans protested when Britain placed a tax on what sweet commodity that is obtained from cane and beets? Uh, sugar. Confirmed sugar? Sugar. Right. I think so. Final answer, sugar. Sugar is right. The Earth is demolished to make way for an interplanetary bypass, according to the Hitchhiker's Guide to what entity? Uh, conferring the galaxy. Yeah, that sounds... Yeah. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is right. Here's your science question. The stars are rotating. The stars are moving rapidly. The Earth is rotating. Circular star trails left on photographic plates are evidence of which of these? Hmm. Conferring, I think it's, I'm pretty sure the Earth is rotating. Yeah. I think so too. I think that's the only yeah. one that makes sense. Yeah, all right. Final answer, the Earth is rotating. That is correct, and those pictures are extraordinary. A noted breeding ground of seals, the Pribilof Islands, are north of what island chain that extends west from Alaska for about 1,200 miles? Conferring the Aleutians. I trust your lies. I, I do yeah. too. Um, Final answer, the Aleutian Islands. Yeah, the Aleutian Islands. Though he had little success with his early work, what Danish writer walked away with honors after writing fairy tales like The Red Shoes? Um, I want to say, conferring the Grimm Brothers, because the Red Shoes, I want to say, I think that was the basis. That was the basis of a couple other fairy tales that they like adopted over time. It could be someone else. I think it was in the 1800s. I don't have a different guess, though, so. Hello. The answer is Hans Christian Andersen. Here's your math question. Oh, yeah. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Um, Frank, yeah, I, I'm not a math guy. It's so. 16, right? Uh, you got it, Elias. 32 divided by, I'm pretty sure I'm going to guess, uh, yes, 16. Yep, you got it right. In 1854, one year after he had first visited Japan, what U.S. naval officer returned and negotiated a commerce agreement with that country? U.S. Um, what U.S. US president? Well, no, it's an admiral. Yeah, oh, admiral. No, oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's Perry. Oh. And that's right. the... Final answer, Perry? Yeah, you got it again. It was Perry. Nice job, Washington Latin Public Charter. You've got 340 points. Let's head over to team three from Gonzaga College High School here in the district. Luke is the captain. Luke, what do you want to tell us? Um, I wrote for my school's crew team, and I'm a writer and editor for the school newspaper. Great. Well, it's wonderful to have you, Luke. Drew, how about you? I really like hiking in my free time. Mm, where do you like to hike? Um, uh, just about anywhere. <laughs> Not a ton of specific places I like to go to. Good for the body, but really good for the head. Great to have you, Drew and Peter. What are you up to? I run cross country and I'm a member of my school science fair. What kind of science fair projects do you do? I really enjoy chemistry. Ah, great. Well, good to have you, Peter. Now that we've done the introductions, let's do some questions. Here we go, Gonzaga. California newspapers were able to print Lincoln's first inaugural address in 1861 because it was rushed there by what Equine Postal Service? I can bring... Oh, um... Pony Express? Yes, that's, that sounds yeah, right. I, um, a Pony Express. Yes. While most of the planets in our solar system rotate in a counterclockwise fashion, an exception is what planet second from the sun? Uh, uh, conferring for Venus. Venus, Venus. yeah. Uh, final answer, Venus. Venus it is. Here's your science question. How many kilowatt hours are there in two million watt hours? Um, uh, conferring 2,000. 2,000 2, Peter, is 2 million divided by 1,000. And that's your answer? Peter? Uh, yeah, sure. we'll go with 2,000. Good, it's 2,000. William Howard Taft was directly preceded in the White House by what president who later ran against Taft as the Bull Moose Party candidate? 
Uh, conferring Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, final answer, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Correcto Mundo. Though she wrote almost 2,000 poems, only two were published during the lifetime of what 19th century woman who lived in Amherst, Massachusetts? Conferring. Uh, conferring Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson? Yeah. All right, final answer, Emily Dickinson. Yes, here's your math question. Evaluate this expression. Um, conferring 3,606. 606. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, final answer, 3,606. Good job. The Nantahala National Forest in the Carolinas was visited in 1540 by what Spanish explorer who found the Mississippi River the following year? Um, answer? Uh, could it be Cortez? We can just go, go All right, sure. All right, yeah. uh, final answer, Cortez. Nah, it was DeSoto, but Gonzaga, nice job, 360 points. And that's it for the packet round. Next, we are turning up the temperature as the clock ticks down. We have finally reached the lightning round. In this round, you've got 45 seconds to answer up to 10 questions. They're worth 20 points up or down. No penalty if you pass. Team one, TJ, let's go. We will name two cities. You tell us what country where the two are found. In three, two, one. Quebec and Montreal. Canada. Yes, Canada. Sao Paulo Canada. and Rio de Janeiro. Brazil. Brazil. Yes, Esfahan and Shiraz. Iran. Yes, Marseille and yeah. Lyon. France. France. Yes, Alexandria and Giza. Egypt. Yes, Antwerp and Ghent. Netherlands. Netherlands. Belgium, Guadalajara and Tijuana. Mexico. Yes, Lahore and Karachi. Yeah. Pakistan. Yes, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. United Arab Emirates. Yes, Haifa and Tel Aviv. Israel. Yes. Great job, TJ. You've got 540 points. Team two, you are up for the lightning round. Here we go, Washington Latin. I'm going to name some major cities around the world. You tell me what country they are in. In three, two, one. Wuhan and Shanghai. China. China. Milan and Naples. Italy. Mombasa and Kisimu. Pass. Kenya. Zurich and Geneva. Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. Mumbai and Bangalore. India. India. Yes. Thessaloniki and Delphi. India. India. Greece. 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 Izmir and Istanbul. Turkey. Yes. Krakow and Gdansk. Pass. Poland. Poland. Kyoto Poland. and Yokohama. Japan. Yes. Japan. Kharkiv and Japan. Odessa. Ukraine. Yes, it's Ukraine. Nice, you got through them. Uh, Washington Latin, you've got a great score of 480 points. Team three is up. Gonzaga, it is your turn to play the lightning round. I'm going to name some major cities around the world. You tell me what country they are in. In three, two, one. Melbourne and Sydney. Australia. Australia. Yes, Hamburg and Munich. Uh, Germany. Mosul and Basra. Uh, skip. Uh, Iraq, Rotterdam, and Utrecht. Uh, uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Yes, Casablanca and Marrakesh. Morocco. Morocco. Yes, Galway and Cork. Uh, Ireland. Yes, St. Petersburg and Novosibirsk. Russia. Uh, Russia. Yes, Salzburg and Innsbruck. Austria. Yes, Jeddah and Mecca. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Yes, Arequipa and Cusco. Uh, Peru? Yeah, it's Peru. Great job, Gonzaga. You've got a score of 540 points. That means there is a tie. We'll be right back in a minute with the tiebreaker. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Students are getting involved in their communities in many important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, I'm Ace Chun, and I'm an 11th grader in Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. And the things I usually do in my volunteering time are I tutor kids for free in computer science principles and coding languages like Python and Java. And in addition, I play violin uh, at various nursing homes and benefit concerts to raise money and food for charity. Um, and the things I really value about this volunteering experience is that I get to do things that I love, like teaching and playing music for others, um, while helping the community that I'm part of. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Well, you now know we've got a tie between Gonzaga College High School and Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. I'm going to ask a question. They will hold up one of the answers on a piece of paper at the same time. Whoever 
gets the right answer when the other person doesn't, takes the game. Here we go, Eliot and Luke. 18th century writer James Boswell wrote a biography of what other English author? Your choices are on the screen, and now I'll see your answers, please. The correct answer is Samuel Johnson. Elliot has the correct answer for TJ, which means you guys are the winners. But let's do these scores, huh? Uh, first, congratulations to Washington Latin Public Charter in DC. Elias, Ruby, and Jonah, 480 points. And then, of course, Gonzaga College High School from the district. Luke, Drew, and Peter, 540 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, Elliot, Timothy, and Andrew. Great jobs taking the game in the tiebreaker. Let's hear it for our incredible teams and you, our incredible viewers. So happy you could join us today and match wits with these impressive students. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. At MITRE, we're committed to solving some of our biggest challenges in national security, cyber, aviation, and health. And our dedication to service starts at home, working to fight hunger, serving people in need, protecting public health, and supporting our civic institutions. This is serving the public. This is MITRE, solving problems for a safer world. Please join us next time when Richard Montgomery Osborne and Elizabeth Seton High Schools compete on It's Academic. I'm Hillary Howard. See you then. Bye, everybody.